Good morning, YouTube. Still in East Dayton on Burkhart. This is 46 Burkhart, and the house is wide open, so time for another edition of East Dayton Slumlords. Live in perfect harmony with their slum tenants. In this house, it is abandoned, and it's like so many others, it's just falling apart. And this run down and depressed city bar as you can see where somebody's already stripped the gutter off of that but i think this is two or three units inside this but i'm gonna look around here appliances and the sink is still intact that's not gonna last long surprise the sink hasn't been Already stripped out of here. It's a bathroom area right here, so some of this may not be in that bad a shape, but it's just as I mentioned before, this is in the side of the East Dayton Slum Lords. I mean not East Dayton Fabulous Ghetto area of the streets when I shot that video before, and yet you can just see. The house definitely does not look like it's too far gone for somebody to live in, but with just the neighborhood and just all the abandonment, it's a tough sell. Yeah, kind of surprised they, these dope heads and all that thing on here, they'll st I mean, they probably would strip the burner right there just for scrap metal. Surprisingly, the sink is not gone. And, yeah, this is actually quite interesting right here. But, yeah, this is what's happened to our rundown city that, that we live in. I mean, this house is one that actually is savable, but when you have this kind of absenteeism from the landlord or whoever, nobody's taking care of it, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, this is three units, and yeah, it's just a matter of time before somebody you know, gets in here and just ransacks this place. I mean, these houses like this, people, I mean, it's just, it's almost a miracle the neighborhood that, there's the Culver looking Burkhart, that's Fifth Street in the background. It's just a miracle that nobody has ransacked this house yet so hey this is a nice little closet area for the master bedroom up here or for a nice little spare room actually there's a closet area too but hey you could use this for almost like a walk-in closet right there so overall you know not really a bad house it's just the area that it's in is just a horrible and just depressed area. And there's just not a whole lot you can really do with this. The area's just turned to complete and total crap. There's just no nice way to say this here you have a house that could actually be saved and yet the city still wants to insist on building houses in in downtown Dayton in a city that just does not have the population to actually support it to actually support the the kind of crap that they want for downtown you know with all these vacancies and all these abandoned houses, there's just, we should not be building any more 
housing when you have a house like this that is still savable that could actually be a good house even though it's three units you could turn this into a see the way the doors are open you could turn this into a family house turn this into a nice house for somebody all a uh, nice family but unfortunately given the area it's in it's hard to really market this to families but that's it for this one from america's fourth most miserable city in east dayton